Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, we'll be continuing looking at UV Editor tools. We can open the UV Editor with this button here, which can be found in the Polygons shelf. This kind of green square here with a checkerboard pattern. This is a shortcut key on the shelf to get to the UV Editor. Now, we've been going over lots of tools in the UV Editor, but there's one tool here on this shelf. It's a little different. It's not in the tool menu. It's right here in the shelf. It's called Select Shortest Edge Path Tool. It's kind of a mouthful, but the way you find the tool besides this little button here is also in the Select menu. And the Select menu has lots of things here, but right here we have Select Shortest Edge Path Tool. That's hard to say. <laughs> uh, so, like always, when we're dealing with these tools, we need to have something here in the UV Editor to uh, mess with in order to get anything to work. So let's go ahead and let's click on the Sculpting tab here and open up the visor for sculpting base meshes. I like think that's it's fun to work with these little uh, meshes that Maya provides just because they're already done and it's and it's better than working with spheres and planes and such. So let's just choose something. Right click and import. Looks like this is like a helmet. So it's kind of a Roman helmet type thing. Looks like it is double sided so there's like a thickness to it. There's an interior of the helmet and an exterior of the helmet which we will see in the UV editor like so. So what we have here, I'm going to turn off the image which is this kind of peach shade. So you can see here the nose piece and the eye holes for the front and then above here is the sides and top of the helmet. And then these little areas that are tucked in here are the interior of the helmet that they've split in half and tucked in to the smaller areas of the texture. This is pretty good uh, UV placement for those of you who are looking into getting into video game work and such. You want to make good efficient use of your UV space, which is this area, this positive Y, positive X quadrant of the UV editor up here in the upper right corner. You want to make good efficient use of this space when creating textures, especially for games, but for anything really. And so the interior of the helmets, because they would typically be covered up by someone's head being tucked inside this helmet, they're not as important to give UV space to as the outside. But in any case, that's getting off the topic. So the mesh has lots of edge loops and such, of course, like any mesh. But we have here the Select Shortest Edge Path tool. I'm trying to get that out. So you click it, you'll see the mesh turn blue. And you saw briefly little instructions on how the tool uh, works. But you also see them down here in the help bar. It says, select two UVs or vertices to find the shortest edge path. So if I, for example, select that UV and then I'll select, say, uh, this one, it gives me a path of edges to get between those two UVs. And the reason why we have this kind of divergent path here is because these three edges are, also, are the same as these three edges. And so if we highlight these three edges, we also have to highlight these three. But then the path continues this way down the side of the helmet to get to that UV there. If I right click and choose, for example, this edge just to select it, you can see how when I highlight them or select them, it selects them both. That's because it is a seam going up the back middle of the helmet and these edges are the same edge. Just like when I highlight this edge, it's the same edge as that one and so forth and so on. But you can see how what happens is with the tool, if you want to select the edges that are between two points, within the UV editor it's quite easy to simply select a point and you kind of have to do a marquee selection around it and then select another point and then a line of edges gets selected that is the shortest let's see shortest edge path between those two points so that's pretty handy for lots of different reasons uh, if you're looking for creating some sort of texture detail along an edge it can be handy to kind of highlight those edges so you can perhaps maybe add a bevel to them or anything like of that nature. There's lots of different applications for such a tool, but it is a selection tool. It simply selects the edges for you. It doesn't do anything beyond that. You'll see here in the select menu that there is no options either. This simply is a select shortest edge path tool. That's all it is. It's what it says on the tin, so to speak. So yeah, that's the uh, select shortest edge path tool. I'll say it again. <laughs> and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and Hopefully you can think of some application for use 
uh, using this tool. If, if you ever do come across a situation where you need to select a path of edges between two specific points, well, there you go. Perfect tool for you right there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.